Now very often colleagues, friends, family will bring me their PCs or the laptops and the condition of the operating system is such that we need to reinstall. And of course, then I bring up in the conversation, do you have the product key code, the 25 digit code that we need when we reinstall Windows that will allow us to activate it and make it a legitimate copy of Windows. And sometimes I get sheepish stares Sometimes they look into the heavens for help and they don't remember where their key codes are for their copy of Windows. Now, I'm going to show you some Microsoft approved methods that we can possibly go in and recover those key codes. But before I do that, I wanna show you some very important things to know about Windows that can save you this problem again in the future. Now, there's different ways to log on to Windows. If you come down here, I'm gonna to come to my start menu. And you can see this is the account that was used to log on to this copy of Windows. And I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna go change account settings. And if you'll notice, this says this is a local account. The gentleman who logged on, home boss, used a local account. Now if I go to system and I come down to activation and I click on activation state, it says Windows is activated with a digital license, but here's the important part. Because this is a local account, it's not tied to a Microsoft account, Microsoft Live, Microsoft Outlook, a Hotmail account. Because it's not tied to a Microsoft account, it's stored on this copy of Windows only. And if I lose that product key code, I will have to purchase another one. Now let me show you another version of Windows where I have logged on with a Microsoft account. Now here's another copy of Windows and I'm gonna come back down to the start icon and here's the user and I'm gonna right mouse click. I'm gonna to go to change account settings and notice in this case, this particular user has tied a Outlook.com account or a Hotmail account to their copy of Windows. Let's go look at system and I'm gonna come down to activation, go to activation state and look at the difference. Windows is activated with a digital li license linked to your Microsoft account. This is very important because if this user reinstalls Windows, because they've linked their Windows copy to a Microsoft account, they can reinstall Windows with no trouble and Microsoft will reactivate this because they, are, they have a copy of the product key code on their Microsoft account. Now back to this guy that has a local account. He is activated, but the copy is here locally on this version of Windows. It is very important that if you don't have your product key code, that you don't reinstall Windows, otherwise you're going to have to buy another license. Number one, if you're logged on with a local account, you go to system, come down to recovery, and you want to use the reset this PC. You want to, you want to recover your operating system using this method because this will actually retain the key code that's on this copy of Windows and you don't have to buy a new one. So you can either reset your PC and keep your files or remove everything and start all over fresh, but you will retain your key code. This individual, because they've tied their digital product key code for Windows to, and it's linked to their Microsoft account, they can actually reinstall and when they connect their Outlook account to their Windows, it will actually activate it because it has a copy of that key code. Okay, Mr. Vanderpool, I see my dilemma and I have logged on to Windows with a local account or I don't have a clue whether I have. Is there any way that I can recover my product key code so I don't have to buy another license when I reinstall? Well, there are three ways. Let's take a look. Work our way through three methods. The easiest first, and then we'll move to more and more difficult methods of getting our product key code. Let's start with the Microsoft Store. 
Yours might be under the start and then a symbol like Microsoft Store. Mine's on my taskbar, but either place, go ahead and launch the Microsoft Store app. And I'm going to type in Show Key Plus. So this is an app that on the Microsoft Store, and it should look like this. Show Key Plus, you're going to hit Get, and it should download and install this app, and we're going to go ahead and open. Now this is the easiest way because it just immediately gives me the version of Windows, product ID, the build version, and here again you can see it doesn't show me my key code because I'm using an MAK key code. Yours should be here, right? Install key, yours should be here. So here's another version of Windows that I ran Show Key Plus, and you can see there's my key code. So depending on the kind of product key code you use to install Windows, it may show up and may not. As long as it's a retail and OEM, it should show. If for any reason you're using a volume license, MAK or KSM license, then they will not show up with this tool. Now for the next step, I will have a link in the video description and you can click on it and it will be the original article that Microsoft has on their website on what to do and how to get your product key code. I want you to go there and launch that in your desktop and it will look like this. Now the link that I have in the video description will launch this article on how to recover your Windows product key. Go ahead and scroll down till you get to the section about PowerShell. We're going to take this line and copy and paste it into our PowerShell interface. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come down to start. We're going to type in PowerShell. And over here you see the PowerShell icon app and we're going to run as an administrator. Say yes. Come back to the article on the internet. Select all of this information right here. We're going to then copy and paste it into our PowerShell and I'm going to use control V. And it's just going to paste all that. You can right mouse click and paste, just paste all that information off the web page into your PowerShell command line interface. And then I'm going to hit enter. For most of you, your key code is going to show up. Again, because I'm using an MAK key, a volume license key, it doesn't show up at all. But if you have an OEM or a retail copy, it's going to show up your key code right here. Now, as we scroll down the article, there's one more way that we can go in and pull that information out. And this uses a script that I'm going to show you how to get started. So first, we're going to come down to start and we're going to type in notepad. And there's my notepad app icon and I'm just going to open notepad and I'm going to slide it over. And I'm going to come over to the article as we get right here where it says set. WSH shell. I'm just going to slide down and copy all that information till we get to the end function. And I'm just again going to right mouse click, copy all that information and paste it into my notepad. You can do it right mouse click and paste. You can do control V paste. Just paste all of that from the article into your notepad. Now we're going to come up and save as. This is very important. We're going to come to where it says save as type. We're going to pull this down to all files. And then I'm going to say I want to save this on my desktop. So I'm going to select the folder and then come back to file name and give it a file name. I'm going to call this product key and then dot vbs dot vbs and it's going to save the contents of this file as a vbs file on my desktop so i'm going to save and i'm going to minimize all these and you can see i now have a file called product key and notice it's got a strange icon look to it now it's a actually a script and if i double click it 
it will produce a key code value right here. You can see in my case, because I used an MAK product key, it doesn't show up. But if you've used a retailer OEM, it should show here on the screen, just like you see. Now, as a bonus, I'm gonna show you the fourth one. And you notice that all of the methods that I used did not show me my MAK key. So we're gonna come down and go start. I'm gonna come up to the search bar and type in reg edit. And again, you'll see the application icon, the reg editor, and I'm gonna run as an administrator. Say okay. Here, we're gonna to go to HKey local machine and we're going to open that up and we're gonna choose software. We're gonna open up the software with these small greater than symbols and we're gonna slide down to Microsoft. And again, I'm gonna hit that greater than symbol. And now we have a whole additional, we're gonna slide all the way down to Windows NT. Let's keep scrolling till we get to Windows. And under Windows NT, I'm gonna hit the greater than symbol, current version. And I'm going to, once the current version is shown, I've got more items here. I'm gonna slide down to I'm going to come down to Software Protection Platform and I'm going to click on this registry key. And if you'll notice right here under Backup Product Key Default, I have my key code. So there is my key code. Now I have a product key code. So you can see it's not as simple as you might think. And you may have to do all four of these till you get to your key code. We would love to hear your feedback. We want to learn from you. So please give us your feedback, comments below. 